This conference is a three-day conference, as you know. Uh, we have um, the PhD symposium, which is mainly academic. MOOCs is an academic institution, so we must provide for support of academic growth in this institution, and that's the impact we want to make by having that. Then, uh, and, and we've invited several universities all over the world to be part of this because they need to share their journey and the academia and to see how their research is going to be done. As this university has been accused of not contributing sufficiently to um, to to to, uh, to business, to to the practice, to the, the financial sector, to the manufacturing sector, to the investment of this country, to the uh, policy supporting um, um, economic development. So this is our opportunity to bring all stakeholders together to have a conversation on this particular issue of human capital, technology, uh, governance, and also sustainability. I can tell you that the problems in this country are very late, even globally, even in the region. So the academia will still have work to do in terms of meeting that expectation and that contribution and supporting the different sectors in that agenda. So ours is to develop an agenda that is directed towards the issues in the economy, global issues, because now we are a global economy. Government has not utilized university research extensively to the, to the tune they should be using it. I don't want to blame government, yeah. but I also probably investors need to come out more to show off what we are doing, and these are such conversations. But also government needs to be very deliberate in supporting research effort. I'm happy that uh, government is supporting her through the Research Innovation Fund, that is a step to support innovation and um, uh, Ugandan product. So I think um, government is on the way to supporting research. So government needs to utilize their investment and also continue to engage deliberately in universities because we are doing so much work that is maybe and I think is useful to government in terms of As opposed to the relevance society, you know we had a first generation of universities which was to teach, to teach and teach and research. Then we went to the second generation admit people, teach them, and research. Uh, now the third generation of people in universities, you teach, you research, and apply that research so that we have policy papers, uh, we have guidance society, we have business clinics. So the research we are doing as a business we are saying we want to put figures. The PSST, Ramadan Kwambi, our home, the PSST, our former colleague that comes and speaks to us. And uh, he has emphasized that as a person, he has texts, front seats, and the research that is applicable, research that can turn into a consumer report research that we can link universities to the public. And this is a great research. And this is what we are doing. And we shall continue to do this. We shall have research that can support the government of the country, the patient working model, and all policy papers. The business and management aspect is very important in all scientific models of the government of this country. To research requires a lot of money. I want to appreciate that in Uganda. It is a million investors in part of this research for innovation fund. Business school has done quite a business. We expect some more additional funds. Cooperation. We are having a lot going on. I've been there for about three months now, and everything that we are put on the plate is well laid out in a strategic plan. One of the biggest things we are bring on board is capacity development. Just like the budget is uh, the PSST said, capacity development is very, very key. So we are putting a lot of money in training our staff so that they are very good in printing and publishing services. And this improves, of course, what the client gets. So, like you've seen in this conference, our strategic plan, which is which we are pursuing for the next five years, is based on three key issues. 
uh, governance excellence, customer excellence, and business process improvement. Under governance, that's where the training is coming in, and we are already a uh, very good board of directors in place. We do a very good job. Good plans are under place to ensure that clients now get quality services in the shortest time possible of the highest order. And when it comes to business processes, we are already having plans to bring in the best machinery that is going to help us achieve much of this. So, as Ugandans, those of you who are consuming the Ugandan Gazette and the rest, and all these commercial printing services which you get from us, of course, the New Vision, we are the only two government uh, printers and publishers, you can be sure that uh, we are continuously going to give you the best quality.